Trevor Noy here. Um, right now, we don't know when we're gonna go back to the studio. We don't know if we're gonna go back to the studio, and I don't think any of you know any different. Um, coronavirus has changed everybody's lives, and so what we've decided is to try and make the daily show from homes, not just my home, but everyone's home. So the producers, the writers, uh, the directors, the graphics producers, we're all just gonna chill at home and use the technology we have to try and make a show. So. I know a lot of people have said, hey, we, we still want to watch The Daily Show, we still want to be informed, we still want to catch up on the news without having to watch 24 hours of CNN, and I don't blame you for that. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so let's, let's get into it. Today we're going to be chatting about coronavirus, obviously. It would be weird if I was like, today we're going to be chatting about infrastructural development in, no. Um, so we're going to be chatting about coronavirus. We're going to be talking about the US border with Canada being shut down. We're gonna talk about NBA players getting tested. We're gonna chat about how people need to stop going to the ER because you're actually hurting everybody who needs it. So let's get into that and more in our very first daily show social distancing. No, daily social distancing show. That's it, the daily social distancing show. From Trevor's couch in New York City to your couch somewhere in the world. This is The Daily Social Distancing Show with Trevor Noah. All right, yo, let's kick it off with the big news of the day. The coronavirus has officially surpassed 200,000 confirmed cases worldwide, which is pretty insane, because right now that means corona is just running around the world like those penguins at the aquarium, just doing whatever it wants. It's actually funny when you think about it, like, you know when you watch that video of the penguins? We always think that if humans were off the planet, then there would be no zoos. But then when I watched that video, it made me realize animals would make zoos for other animals. Like the penguins would be like, and this is the polar bear, used to hunt us, how things have changed. Anyway, uh, I'm not telling you the, the, the news of Corona surpassing 200,000 to make you sad, right? I'm just keeping you up to date with what's happening. We all gotta be informed. Now, just because coronavirus cases are going up in the world, please, that, that, that shouldn't make you more sad because there is a lot of encouraging news coming out from all over the world. For instance, just today, just today there was a story that came out of Italy where a small town of about 3,000 people tested everyone in the town. And then they just kept track of everyone who had coronavirus and who was giving it to who, and they got the cases of coronavirus down to zero. So it shows you that's basically what we need to do, right? We need to test as many people as possible. And I know if you live in New York, you're probably like, yeah, but Trevor, that town only had 3,000 people in it. That's how many roommates I have. But still, it shows that the key to stopping coronavirus is testing. What's scary about testing, though, is that the cases are gonna go up because the more people we test, we're gonna discover more people have coronavirus, but at least we'll know how many people have coronavirus, you know? It's like, like today, we just found out that four Brooklyn Nets players, NBA players, have coronavirus, including Kevin Durant. Yeah, so now the Nets have coronavirus, the Jazz have coronavirus, the Pistons have coronavirus. It's going around to all of the NBA teams, except the Knicks, because not even Corona wants to be on the Knicks. Now, the White House keeps trying to reassure people that more tests are coming, but every time Trump tries to calm the nation down, I feel like he does the exact opposite. We are all in this together and we'll come through together. It's the invisible enemy, but we're going to defeat the invisible enemy. Your credibility ratings are very low. There was a recent NPR poll. Who are you asking that question? I'm um, asking. Because I see that they're very high. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? Why do you keep using this? Because it comes say from it's China. Racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. That's why. There are some, at least one White House official, who used the term Kung Flu, referring to the fact that this virus started in China. My question is, do Kung you think flu. that's wrong? Kung Flu. And do you think using the term Chinese virus, that puts Asian Americans at risk, that people no, might target them? No, not at all. I think they probably uh, would agree with it 100%. You know, Trump is the only person who could hold a press conference about a pandemic and then turn it into a fight about racism. Who does that? Like, who does that? The guy comes out there like, let's stay calm, folks. So calm, everybody. And then five minutes later, he's like, Kung flu is a term of respect. Ask any Asian. Ni hao ma, Kung flu, shi shin. Focus. This is where you need presidential. This is one of those moments where I wish 
I wish Obama could come back, you know? I wish Barack Obama could come, not as president, I'm not trying to mess with the constitution. I'm just saying they should hire Obama to handle press briefings, you know? Because whether you agree with his policies or not, you have to admit Barack Obama did his thing. He knew how to calm everybody down. You know, he'd just come out and be like, all right, everybody, uh, this is what's gonna happen. Uh, we're gonna get the, uh, the uh, testing, all the kits, or we're gonna isolate the virus. Uh, we're gonna beat this thing. Uh, we're gonna isolate the virus and we're gonna beat this thing. Uh, in the meantime, if you want something comforting to binge at home, a lot of people are watching TV. Uh, if you wanna watch something, uh, you can uh, watch the first eight years of my presidency. Uh, that's a rerun that never gets old. <laughs> the best part is in season two, uh, when I go after bin Laden. Spoiler alert, he doesn't make it. Actually, I feel like Obama takes so long to finish a sentence. It might make social distancing fly by. Like right now we're like, oh, we're gonna be in here for months. If Obama speaks, uh, we, we, we've got to, uh, uh, we gotta uh, be safe. And we're like, wow, it's August already. I guess we can go outside now. Thanks, Obama. Now, Trump held another presser today where he said that America and Canada are closing their border to non-essential travel. Yeah. And that actually made me kind of feel bad for Trump because he's finally getting the border shut down he always wanted. It's just happening with the wrong country, you know, which sucks for him. It's kind of like wishing for more vacation days, but then you get fired. You sort of get what you want, but it's not the same. And so from now on, only essential travel, only essential travel is allowed into Canada from the US. You know, stuff like government business, trade, and your boy's bachelor party in Montreal, but that's it, nothing else. I'll see you there, Brandon. And like, you know, I, I just wonder if this is gonna work. Cause you know, you know Canadians are so polite. I bet if you showed up at the border, they'd still let you in. And be like, oh gosh, I'm really not supposed to, eh, Trevor, but I can say no to new friends. Come on in, eh? I don't even know if that was a Canadian accent, to be honest. I don't, I don't even think I remember a Canadian. I feel like I've, I haven't been around people for so long. I don't know what any accent sounds like. That could be Canadian. For all I know, all the accents in my head are wrong. Maybe it's been that long. This corona, self-distancing. I'm just gonna be like making up random accents that are incorrect. Yes, so sorry about, about that. Yes, welcome to Toronto. Yes, I'm Canadian. Yes, yes, oh, sorry. Yeah, but, but, oh, you want maple syrup? Oh, one other thing I wanna mention, doctors, need our help right now. Yes, doctors need our help. Because there are many stories coming out that a lot of young people, especially in New York, have been going to emergency rooms looking for a corona test when they don't have serious symptoms and the hospitals are overwhelmed. They can't handle that. Like, I know, I know that they've shut down the bars, so maybe you think the ER is the hot new hangout, but it's not, people. Yes, they have alcohol, but it's rubbing alcohol. It's not the same thing. When you go to an ER and it's not an emergency, you're overloading the system. You're overloading the hospitals. You're taking care away from the people in really desperate situations. So if you're feeling sick, but it's not that serious, just self-isolate for a few days. This is not for me, by the way. This is, this is what the CDC has told us to do. If you're feeling sick, stay at home, self-isolate for a few days, and you see if you get better, all right? Emergency rooms are like flights on Spirit Airlines. You should only go there as a last resort. Spirit Airlines, thanks to Corona, we're not the worst anymore. All right, I've been alone in this apartment for a few days. Uh, I could use some human conversations, so uh, let's call up Roy Wood Jr. and see what he's up to with the magic of technology. Yo, Roy, what's going on? Yeah, yo. How, how, how's it going over there, man? I miss, I miss your face, man. This is fun. I'm, I'm all right, man. I'm, I'm doing okay over here. Um, my three-year-old flushed a full bar of soap down the toilet. So for about 14 hours, we didn't have nowhere to take a dump. Like, you ever have to pray you don't have to take a dump because you know you can't take... Like, this is the worst time to need another bathroom other wait, than your... Wait, so your, your son flushed 
soap down the toilet. Not soap. Don't say soap. It's a bar of soap. A whole ass bar of soap, brand new, and it got clogged in the corner. So I went on Twitter asking but questions. Why didn't so you just, yeah, so why didn't you just pull it out? Because it's down under there. You know, the toilet, the toilet goes down, up, and down. When a toilet oh, goes yeah, 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 it's that thing. Okay, yeah, that's so, thing. So the so soap this... was there, so I couldn't get... Right. So I had to... So what... I, hanger, I tried... Is that, is that him? Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, dude, the only thing worse than coronavirus is having coronavirus shut down and kids at the same time. I have never been happier to not have a child in my life. <laughs> Just yells for no reason. Like... <laughs> does he even understand what the shutdown is? Does he, does he understand no, self-distancing? This is spring break. He keeps waking up. He goes, school? And I go, no school. And he goes, yeah! And then I make grilled cheese sandwiches all morning. Grilled cheese and apples every morning. Man, I feel sorry so, for you. I'm, I'm sorry. I feel how you doing? You. I'm good. I'm great. I won't lie. Like, I mean, I'm worried about people. I don't know where the world is going. I'll tell you, the biggest stress I have is that I don't know if I have corona or not. Because you don't show symptoms. So, I don't know if I have it. What if I already had it? And then, like, maybe I don't have it anymore. Do you know what I mean? And then, like, I, I, I'm immune. I could be in the streets. But now I don't know... Because I haven't, because I can't get tested. Like nobody, you can't get tested unless you like really show symptoms. So I don't know. So yeah, that's the only frustrating thing for me. It's like a lot of famous people getting tested. That's what it seems like. Seem like what you need to do. You need to do what I'm gonna do. I'm I'm joining the NBA. Time to get my test. I already thought about this. I already ordered a jersey and everything. It doesn't. I don't even know. What, what are you saying? If you want to get tested for Corona, join the NBA. NBA show a symptom, they tested immediately. They tested all of the Utah Jazz. They tested all of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Oh, when yeah. It first yeah, yeah, the Brooklyn Nets. I think, what, what, four players got tested? Yeah. Or they, the no, four players were confirmed. Yeah, they tested everybody. Yeah. So if you want to get a test, I'm looking on the TV, all I see are these corona tests and people lining up at six in the morning. The, the testing doesn't start till nine. You don't even get up, you don't even get that at early for Jordans. You get to the mall an hour before it opened for Jordans. And people are there four hours. That's how dire this is. That's like the new, the way you just said it, it makes it sound like corona, corona testing is going to be the new swag. Yeah, like like rap, like rappers are gonna be in their videos like yeah got that got that Corona test got all oh, Corona tests Bug yeah with Bugatti, an N95 Bugattis and Corona tests with an N95 mask on their face <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got, uh, got that Bitch, Corona got test that. yo well Corona yeah I, wait I but now but now if you say f celebrities get it then how come we haven't gotten the test. I think this is, if there's ever a time to confirm whether or not you're an A-list celebrity. Wow. This is the time. Because you look at the celebrities that's got it. Top Shelf, Idris Elba. Tom, Tom Hanks. Tom, like, yeah. the people that are bona fide stars. If wow. you're anything, like, if you're doing Hallmark movies, you might not get a test. They might just not. I'm nervous. I'm going to be honest. This is myself included. <laughs> You might be good. Like, <laughs> oh man, I haven't gotten the test though, so I mean, I'm not. Saying, I'm saying if we was both in line to get the corona test, and the and the swab lady came down the line, she'd be like, "Oh, Trevor Noah, come," and I'd be like, "What about me?" And she'd be like, "No, Anthony Anderson, I don't watch black." <laughs> That's what would happen. Oh man, oh, oh, dude, I, I hope you're wrong. I hope you're wrong. I heard, I heard too many people are trying to get the test, so maybe, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Or maybe, uh, or maybe they should say, like, every, every NBA player slash movie star that gets tested has to bring a friend to get tested with them. Maybe that's how we get the thing to everybody. I probably should wear... I got more baseball gear in my house than basketball, and I know that for sure I'd have enough to make three-fourths of a Chicago Cubs uniform. Like, I have and a hat, I have a glove, I have a jersey, I have cleats, I just who, need pants. Then who are you going to be in the team? Who are they, When they say, like, oh, you play for the Chicago Cubs, who are you going to say you are? 
but they probably won't believe I play baseball because I'm black. It ain't but eight of us left. So I probably got to learn Spanish and trick them into thinking I'm Dominican. I don't, look, I'm just hoping that, you know, we continue to remain alone together and that I don't get any symptoms. Is that? Hey, let me go, man. What, is everything okay? I, this boy, man, I'm sorry. Where, what's going I'm on? So, I'm sorry. Hey, stop eating the toilet tissue. This boy is eating toilet tissue. That's like eating money. That's actually worse than eating money. Hey, eat this $20 bill. Don't do that. Roy, are you... Um, all right, I'll, I'll chat to you later. Uh, all right, cool. Thanks, Roy. I'll chat to you tomorrow uh, if your kid's not eating more toilet paper. Oh, speaking of kids eating toilet paper, before we go, school in America specifically is where millions of kids get their lunch every single day. But with many schools closed down right now, these kids could use our help. So if you can help, please, if you can donate anything right now, I know it's hard, but if you can, please go to nokidhungry.org and give what you can. You can help children get a meal. It might be their only meal of the day. And if you wanna help in New York City specifically, please go to cityharvest.org. In times like this, we all need to pull together and help out however we can because it's gonna be a ride and the only way we can make this journey a little more tolerable is if we travel on it together. Wow, that was deep. I just made that up. That was powerful. Uh, so yeah, that's the daily social distancing show for today. I'm Trevor Noah. Stay out there, stay safe. Please distance yourself socially, but connect with each other digitally and I'll catch up with uh, everybody tomorrow. But before we go, here it is, your moments of Zen. This Los Angeles grocery store also offering special hours for seniors. We have a package for you. And in Chicago, a nonprofit putting together and delivering care packages to seniors in need. This is something that's going to affect everybody. We just have to do a better job at recognizing the humanness or, or the Americanness in each of us. And, um, and if we're going to you know, rise out of this, we got to do it together.